So you've seen the title of this video, let's get straight into it. Should you get a job after university? Is getting a job good, bad? What should I do? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my take on it when I was going through A-Levels University and what I thought about getting a job. And then I'll give you my take after going through all of that stuff, what my thoughts are. So just remember this, there is no right or wrong answer. Everyone's situation is different. Your situation is unique and different to compared to someone else. There is no right or wrong answer. In this case, for me, this is based on my experience and what I feel. Think, and you can say wisdom if you like and what I want you to do is to try and take some wisdom or gems from here and there that could be applicable to your own life now that doesn't mean that you know everything I say is right or everything I say is wrong look at it from a perspective of okay how can I take this and apply it to my own life this is how you should look at information just in general okay so when I was going through university when I was going through A levels my thought process was okay I'm studying these subjects so I can get a degree and then when I get a degree I can then get a job a career and build a career from this right now I had no idea what I wanted to do and I was just kind of, if you like, winging it, just going from places to places and trying different things out. Now, when I was going in the corporate world, the 9 to 5, if you don't know my story, I worked in investment bank, trading firm, etc. I quickly realized that this world wasn't for me. It wasn't something that I can see myself in the long run doing this. It was just, it wasn't in my DNA. It just didn't fit for me. Okay. Now, because it didn't fit for me, I had to find another route. I had to find another way of, okay, how can I get out of this? How can I do something for myself that I enjoy and stop? you know, doing for myself, right? And then I looked at, okay, doing business and starting my own Matt's Academy and running a business from that perspective and building that business to where it is today. And for me, it was a realization from a young age, if you like, where I realized, okay, this is not for me, okay? Now, just because a nine to five is not for me does not mean it's not going to work for you. And this is very important. You have to try it out. Now, when I look at, you know, the corporate world, having gone through it and, you know, coming out of it, I look at it now as, Getting a job, don't look at it as getting a job. I look at it as go and get experience. You are young, okay? And you are young and you have time on your hands. Now you might be asking, but hold up, Vidush, I don't know what job to get into because I don't even know what I want to do. Of course, it's completely natural. You don't. But the way to know what you want to do or at least have a direction of where you should go, where you should be going is to try different things out. Go and experience different things like go and get different jobs and try different things out that might, you know, sparkle your curiosity. The way I look at it now after going through this is I don't look at it as, oh, I need to get a job. I need to get a job and this is my career. No, I look at it as I need to get experience. There is a difference. I need to get experience in a skill that, you know, I like, I enjoy and I'm good at so that I can build on that skill. And then, you know, I can move to different companies or different firms and charge higher fees. Does that make sense? Don't look at it as a job as, oh my gosh, I'm going to get a job and this is my life. No. And also I would say this, this is very important and you've got to be very careful here. I see a lot of these YouTubers, these YouTubers that have a lot of subscribers, million subscribers, etc. that say, oh, the 95 job is shit, etc. You know, being a YouTuber is great, etc. Yeah cool let me tell you this and you're not going to hear this from anywhere else and you'll hear it from here what do you think would have happened to those people if youtube was not there what do you think would have happened to those people where would they have gone if youtube was not there because you've got to understand youtube is something that has been here for what 15 years 18 years max something like that those people that say oh you know 95 job is shit etc would have had to go and work in the corporate world they could say, yeah, I could start my own business and etc. And, you know, they'll say that, right? Starting your business is a, the, the, a great thing. But this is, this is, this is, this is, oh, man, this gets me really annoyed and angry, right? Because you see a lot of these YouTubers, like, like I'm, look, I'm recording, right? They take a camera and record themselves, edit, upload, fine. And then what happens? As they do that consistently, they get business coming to them sponsorships comes to them ad revenue comes to them when you go and do a business and when you go and start a business you have to go out there and do it for yourself you have to go and get clients you have to sell this is the shit that i did myself right so when you're starting a business in the real world it's very different and when i hear these people saying oh you should start your own business you start your own business and doing this stuff it's easy to say that when you're just recording videos when nothing is, when everything is coming to you, as opposed to you going and seeking, you going out there and going through the trials and tribulations of starting a business. Doing business in the real world compared to, you know, recording videos is very different. And this is why you've got to take things with a pinch of salt. And it's very, very important that you don't just listen to everything that you hear on YouTube and all this stuff when they're already successful, they're making the money, but you are different. Okay, that doesn't mean that you can't be a YouTuber, doesn't mean you can't start a business as well, but you've got to understand what works for you. Just because it works for someone else doesn't mean it's going to work for you. And this is where it's important that you have to understand yourself and say, okay, what do I like? What do I enjoy? What's my strengths? Just because I started a business doesn't mean that you're going to start a business. 
because it might not work for you it might not be something that you like it might not be you don't you might not want to go through the rejections the trials and tribulations the amount of dark days that you're going to go through because nothing is working you have to understand that and they don't share that stuff right they just say oh youtube is everything or business is everything cool but as, as I said before, if YouTube was not there, these same people that say this, I guarantee you, they would have to get a job. Because where they go, what are they going to do at the beginning? When you start a business, you're not making any money. Think. It's important. So when I look at all these people saying this stuff, it makes me annoyed because it's easy to say it's a video. You're recording a video. But when you're saying, okay, start a business, are you actually going to go through that stages of, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and sell, like get clients, try and win clients try and get business go door to door and sell myself you know are you going to do that have you actually experienced that because i've seen all this stuff like oh i want to start my own business but i want to start with this i want to start this have you actually gone through those stages have you actually gone through those trials of challenges and rejections of number of days where you might not even know if you're going to get a client where there's no money coming in and you're thinking shit how am i going to even pay my bills and all that stuff have you actually gone through that i hope this makes sense right so when we go back to the question of is getting a job important or is it good or bad listen get experience there's nothing wrong with that don't listen to these people that say oh you know getting a job is bad he's nine to five that's because they found youtube and they're being great on youtube now and fine great all, all that's all good but you gotta understand just because it works for them doesn't mean it's going to work for you and this kind of this virtual i don't know how do you say facade of them saying all this stuff is to get views as well you have to be self-aware for yourself. It doesn't matter if you don't know what you want to do. But getting a job, you should see as get experience. Okay, let me try this field. Let me try and work in this firm. Let me try and get experience. Let me try and understand how the corporate world works. It could be anything. But when you get experience, you build credibility for yourself. Don't just like be very careful who you listen to this is what i'm saying be very careful because the the virtual world the youtube and all that virtual world it's very different from reality they ain't gonna say that shit when it comes to the real world face to face because for them youtube is a career right okay cool that's fine but that career might not be for you starting a business might not be for you and this is why i say understand where you want to be understand okay what is it that i like what is it what, what's my strengths so when I look back at it now, I don't have anything against getting a job because at least when you do get a job, experience, that's the way I look at it, you'll see if this is something that you like or not. And then through that experience, you might be like, okay, you know what? This is not for me. But from that experience, I managed to see, okay, this is what I want. Great. How are you going to know what you want if you don't go out there and experience it for yourself? Think about that. How are you going to know? You're not going to know. So understand that for you to realize what you want to do, you have to first go out there and experience the firm, the corporate world, or whatever it is that you want to do, go and gain experience. Don't look at it as, okay, I'm going to get a job and this is it for the rest of my life. Think of it as, okay, I'm going to do this. And then once I've gained the experience, I'm going to move on to something else. And I'm going to build all these experiences. So I have a plethora of knowledge and wisdom in all these different fields. And then I'll be able to see, okay, this is what I like. And I'm going to hone on that hundred percent. I hope that makes sense. It's just, it just gets me really annoyed when I see all these people just saying these stuff to young students like yourself when they, they, they're coming from a perspective of they've already made it. They've already made it. So it's easy for them to say, oh, a 9 to 5 job is shit. Yeah, because you can't do a 9 to 5 job. That's why you say it's a shit. But just because it's shit for you doesn't mean it's going to be shit for someone else. The other person might love the 9 to 5. They might, they might love what they're doing. They might, they might they just probably enjoy the, 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 what they're doing and they really like it and they want to build that career for them. Kudos. This is what I would say. Know what you want. Be self-aware to know what you want. Don't listen to other people. Don't even listen to me. Okay, I'm just saying based on my experience. Now, when I look at it, a job, I look at it as experience. It builds my experience for me to know what I want and what I don't want. And for me, that's perfectly fine. You have to ask the question for yourself. What do you want? Where do you want to be? Once you figure those things out for yourself, you go at it and kill it. Peace.